Hi everyone, welcome to the fifth lecture of Ansible series and in this lecture we will try to focus on inventory file with groups and group of groups. What does that mean actually, right? So, but before starting the logic over here, just a brush up about inventory file. Inventory file are those files where you provide the list of hosts, basically your managed node on which Ansible engine works and get the information out to you while doing the automation. That's what inventory file is and as part of our last lecture, we saw like it is very important to list out all the servers within the host file or as per your standard naming given to the host of the inventory file. So that is required to get all the information out of the managed node, whether you are trying to ping or you install a package or you are doing a security update or an application deployment. Host file is an important file. Inventory file is very important. Now coming back to the main agenda groups, why we need group, what does grouping means, right? So for example, we have, let's say 500 servers in an environment, all 500 servers are divided into database servers, then application servers, then web servers within database server, we have MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL. So all those are different. All 500 servers are different in nature, performing some different functionality. So what we can do, let's say if I have to do a deployment on the application servers only, not on the web servers, what I can do, I can take a help of Ansible where I can create multiple groups within the host file or the inventory file, just like this, create a group of web server, place all the web servers into web server group, then create a group of database server and give all the database server within the database group. What this will do, for example, I just need to interact with the application server, then I can call all the application server or the web server and do the deployment with that particular server. Next day, I have to update the database component. Then I can call database component over there. And let's say if I have to deal with both the servers, both the group at the same time, then I can write a playbook where the web server will get the web deployment package, database server will get the DB component updated. So that's what grouping is mean, right? Now group of groups is another, you can say a nested logic what we have where as an example, let's say we have a web server, it's one group. We have database as well. So as I said earlier, out of 500 server, we have few Oracle, we have few MySQL, we have few Microsoft SQL. So in that case, we create a group of web server, we create a group of Oracle servers, we create a group of Microsoft SQL server or MySQL server. Now group of groups means where you can apply an operation or you can update the package while calling the both the group database Oracle, database MySQL, database uh, Microsoft SQL into one group which is called as DB children. So once you call DB children then it what it will do it will scan the DB Oracle servers, it will scan DB MySQL server. Again that depend upon requirement how exactly you want to perform an operation towards the automation, right? So I can make a group, I can do a group of groups as well. So all those functionalities make the automation towards Ansible much more flexible, much more modularized. Now that's what the concept of groups and group of groups in Ansible means for the inventory file. How this will be going to happen? Let's try to focus on our practical lab now. Let me stop the presentation over here, discard. This is my terminal. I, I'm continuing from my last lecture. As you can see, I have the same result. Now if I do ansible all hyphen m ping. So this will give me all the responses, whatever the web servers or application servers we have in our host file or the inventory file. That's what I'm getting it over here, right? I'm pinging with the ping is a module hyphen M basically is a module all all the web servers. But now let's say I don't want to interact with all the servers. I just want to interact with few servers. So before doing a groups or group of groups, let me do something else. So let's say out of all these servers, I just want to interact with one server or two server only. So what I can do, I can type Ansible, Ansible, then let's take the host name as this one right then do hyphen m and ping 
so this command will interact only with one server now what if you have to interact with the two servers instead of out of three so what you can you have to do colon and place the second server this will interact with the two servers now this is not a good practice to do that way because let's say if you have 100 servers you are not going to put all the 100 servers like this one server colon second server colon third server right now that's where the concept of inventory file groups or grouping comes into picture let's do edit of inventory file so i'm using host over here as you can see i have three servers listed over here now let's create a group first consider the first server is my web server right web server so in this case what i can do uh, i can say do a segregation my second server consider this second server as app server okay and consider third server as my database server so these are the like the way that you define the group over here save it okay now if i want to interact only with the app server what should i do i do i will do ansible not ansible ansible then call our web server hyphen m ping so this will read my inventory file what exactly web server as a group is then it will take that server from the group and it will give us the response now if i want to interact with two server as i mentioned above you can do uh db i guess i have given i don't remember it exactly yeah it's db so now i'm interacting with the two servers in the group so i have created three group out of three group i am using two group now if i want to use the third group as well which is my app server so you can do app server and it will give you the response of the app server as well so that's how the grouping of servers means over here now if i go to my presentation I did create it three group web server, DB server and app server, right? And I was able to test the ping command on all the servers while using group. Now, the next part is group of groups. What exactly does that mean? So let me go back. Uh, let me edit our host file. Now, let's say these two servers are Let's say this server is uh, edit. Let's say this server, I give this name as DB Oracle. Okay. And I this give this name as DB MS SQL, right? DB MS SQL. Now, if I want to call both, obviously I can do the operation with single one, right? I can call this one. I can call this one. What if I have to call both the DB server? What I, if I have to do the patching on both the DB server at the same time? So in that case, I have to create something DB, uh, not this, DB children. I believe I'm correct. DB, yeah. This should be this one, DB children. And I'm going to call these two group, DB Oracle and DB MySQL. Save it. So first, again, let's look at the host file. I might have um, done something wrong over here. So it has to be, uh, it has to be only DB Oracle, not with the braces or the bracket, I would say. Uh, children, not that. Remove this as well. Save it. Okay. Now, in order to, let's say I have to interact with both the databases, I have to patch both the databases. What I will do, it's Ansible, uh, Ansible, then DB. After that, we have to use M, ping, enter. Now, what this will do, this will go to the host file, read the database group, the parent group over there, and inside that, it will list out what exactly has been given what we are calling if we are having a oracle server it's a multi-grouping over there or what so that's what group of groups means right so this will come handy let's say when you have uh, multiple applications or staging production or let's say staging and development environment 
or let's say dev or int environment which consider as a pre prod for us right so the dev and int i have to update a patch in that case what i will do i will create a group called int integration environment then i will create a group called dev database application uh, sorry uh, not database dev application server environment i will club both into like create a group of groups and i will call that parent group to do the patching update for all the servers of integration and the dev environment this is as an example totally based upon your requirement i'm just giving a scenario where you can take these examples as an approach into your production environments so that's how basically again if i go to host file over here that's how the group means understand and don't get confused guys this is what grouping means right and this is what group of groups means you are calling multiple groups into one that's what group of groups means and this makes it more feasible again more flexible and we can try and test multiple scenarios over here what i wanted to cover as part of this lecture so i hope this clears a lot in terms of the groups and how you can do a grouping group of groups for the inventory file how you can test all those stuff using the ping command don't worry about the ping command the ping module that i am using since start we will be going to understand everything in detail the future lecture is coming up on the commands only next lecture mostly it's on ad hoc commands how ansible pushes commands to the managed node get the response out so we will be going to understand all those stuff but do lot of practices on ansible as i said this is one of the best tool we have in the market and most of the industry is using ansible for their automation purposes see you in next lecture if you're facing any issue please out a comment in comment section and i'll be there to help you have a nice day bye bye